Hi everyone, you have reached Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me awesome. I'm here today with a quick video on the threesome. Who's the threesome? Kim Kardashian, Pete Davidson, Kanye West, or as he renamed himself, Ye West. Well, over the weekend, some texts got leaked. And you know, now when things get leaked, I, I, I wonder were they really leaked or did a, a, a party within the situation leak them on purpose because they wanted the public to know that they're actually enjoying this public feud uh, or this public display of their nonsense, right? So these texts get leaked. And the texts were Skeet, um, Pete Davidson, uh, talking to Kanye West, letting Kanye West know, like, listen, look, the best mother in the world is Kim Kardashian. You are lucky that she is the mother of your children. And he goes on and on, right? So he asks him well, where you are at now. He sends him a selfie of him. Um, you know, it's, it's this upper part of his body, no shirt on. Um, and he's saying, I'm in bed right now next to your wife. Now, see, if Pete Davidson, wait, let me back up a little bit. Initially, I thought Pete Davidson was above the shenanigans, above the nonsense. But apparently he said, I'm tired of being quiet. So he starts to run his mouth now. And you really now, you're trying to taunt somebody. You already know that Kanye West, um, do I want to say not well? I, I won't say not well, but he has his antics, right? You already know that Kanye West has his antics. And so you want to taunt him like you a little schoolboy. And, and you know, y'all at the playground and it's three o'clock at the school. And you like, meet me outside in the playground because we about to fight over this chick that both of us like, right? So you're going to taunt him and send him a picture talking about you're in the bed right now next to his wife. Was that necessary? Are you serious? So then Kanye claps back, so to speak, and he said, you know what? Glad to see that you're out the hospital. And then Skeet says, well, you know, yes, it does wonders. You should go. And then he asks him, well, where you at? Like, in other words, like, what's up? You you talking all this nonsense via text. If you really want a piece of me, you really want to talk to me, you really want to do this man to man, meet me at the Sunday service. Meet me outside and we can do this. So here's my take on this whole situation. First of all, Kim Kardashian, and it's not just her. I think it's anybody who, when you first break up with someone, whether you was in this relationship long term, um, 10, 15 years, five years, two years, four years, 30 days or a year, or um, you was married to the person, or you, know, you and the person was just sleeping together, before you jump into the next situation with someone else, you could take, you should take a moment. And what do I mean by a moment? I don't mean 60 seconds. I don't mean 24 hours. I don't mean 48 or 72. I'm going to say, and I don't even really like 30 days as a bare minimum, but I'm going to say anywhere from 60 to 90 to 365 days before you jump into another relationship. And why am I saying that? I'm saying that when you are in a relationship and there is a demise, each party, maybe don't, don't play the same percentage of a role, but each party has a role in the demise of that particular relationship. You owe it to yourself so that you don't pull that same type of energy into your life again. Just sit back, take a moment, say to yourself, okay, hold on. Let me see what role I played in this debacle. And before I move on to the next person, let me meditate, pray, do whatever it is you have to do so you won't attract that same crazy energy to you all over again. So little does Kim know or probably realize that she thinks she got rid of Kanye West. She's, you know, behind the scenes, probably throwing a party. Um, I got rid of that energy that wasn't connecting with me no more. I got rid of the crazy, but yet... It is proven now 
um, via by these texts that Pete Davidson sent to Kanye West, she is now sleeping with the same type of energy, just named a different person, okay? So in my mind, and you can chat with me in the comments and let me know, Kim is still with Kanye West, but the name is just now Pete Davidson. And if Pete Davidson leaves and she doesn't take a moment to reflect, uh, 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 um, you know, declutter her mind, her body, and her soul, the next person she ends up with will be another Kanye or Pete or whomever. She's going to keep attracting the same type of energy and she doesn't give herself a minute to sit back and just relax and think about it. I, here's the thing. I, I really believe that life is meant to be spent with someone, right? No one should be alone or feel lonely. And it's always great to have that person that you can talk to, that you can hug, that loves you, you love them back. Um, you have things in common, you hang out together, so forth and so on. But when you are willing to have that someone at any price, that's when things go away. That's when things get crazy. And that's when you end up in a situation like this. And you owe it to yourself and your children when children are involved, not to continuously find yourself going down the same exact road, expecting a different result. They call that insanity. So the text went back and forth. The texts were leaked. Um, I'm not going to connect the story because it's, you know, that, um, that people are saying that this relates to Pete Davidson has a, a, a pattern or a history of doing things like this, of sending um, his 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 current um, people that he are with exes, you know, pictures of him being with their ex and kind of taunting them because you are taunting Kanye West when you want to send him pictures of you, you know, um, with no clothes on and then going to say, I'm laying in the bed next to your wife. So what do I think should happen in this situation? Several things. A lot of people, they want to label Kanye West as just being crazy out of his mind. Um, they consider all of his antics over the top. He should just leave Kim alone. And I don't disagree with any of that, right? I think on both sides of the house, they could have handled this divorce way better, much better, especially if not for themselves, but in the name of the kids. But those texts prove to you that all of his antics are, for lack of a better word, I'm going to say not unwarranted, right? You have this guy who should be minding his business. And yes, minding his business. When you get with someone and they are divorced and they have children with that person, they divorce. Um, for the most part, 99% of the business with the children um, are between you and your ex and it don't got much to do with your new partner okay on both sides yes they have to be involved in some way shape or form especially if the person another party in there gets married or something like that but a major portion of that business is none of your business and you shouldn't be in it you shouldn't be trying to write the script for it. You shouldn't be directing it. And you shouldn't be telling anybody how things should go down between you, the ex, and the kids. Okay? Now, there are some crazy situations. And we're not talking about any crazy situation. I'm talking about the average situation. You let your ex um, and, and, and their, their, their old partner whatever... Figure everything out with the kids. And when the kids come to your space in your house, all you got to do is make sure when they're there that they eat, that they bathe, um, that they behave, and that they get back to their mother or their father in one piece clean with all of their stuff that they came with. And or whatever they're going to leave, they can leave. But you just make sure the homework is done and they go back to their other house in one perfect piece. But you shouldn't be on the phone directing and trying to coordinate every piece of that situation. That's my opinion, okay? So Pete Davidson, because right now especially, he's only the boyfriend, okay? Um, he has no business being in Kim and Kanye's business and he shouldn't be texting him. Now, if Kanye texts Pete first, you know, that's a whole problem too. So I'm not just trying to let Kanye get off the hook here. But right now, for these messages that leak, um, Pete Davidson is out of line, out of pocket, and Kim 
Kardashian just got herself another Kanye with a different name and some lighter skin. So she messed up. Anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments. You let me know your thoughts. What do you think about these text messages that got leaked that um, Pete Davidson had in exchange with Kanye West? First of all, it's none of Pete's business. He needs to mind his business and he should have never said to Kanye West, I'm laying in the bed next to your wife. That is so messy, so out of line, and so out of pocket. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button.